see how this is you can put a screwdriver in there and take it off so that's good so you can only take this off from the inside hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new in today's video I'm going to show you how easy it is to create new holes to put new locks if your old lock is broken or you can't get access to the old one so i'm just going to show you the shed because there's no easy way to explain what i'm doing today but first i'm going to show you the um the tools that i'll be working with today so guys today i overkill because at first i thought i was just going to use this little saw and just really saw off this thing because i can't get them out whoever was working on it before i don't know if you can see they kind of kill that right there and so I'm just gonna be drilling new hold and I'm gonna be using my power drill here to create new hold and because I didn't want to go back to the store back and forth I did kind of um, buy this set that I want to put on this is the old one from the other side that I already take off but the other side the screw was messed up so I couldn't get it off and I, I these were too big that comes with this set so I kind of went and got these entire set that would that I think would work in there but I think I'm just gonna it's, dig the hole instead and that would be much better for me but I did get all these things because I hate going starting a project and you got to pack everything up and go back to the store so I got all my handy tool together I'm sure I won't be using some of these but it's super cold outside I didn't want to keep running back and forth inside so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna drill some hole so that I can go ahead and install this and this piece so I can add a padlock and secure my shed. I want to make sure the holes I'm creating fit there. So this, I don't know. Yeah, so I want that. So I'm going to go in here and uh, I want to do the hole. Like just making the marks as to where I'm going to be needing the hole. So when I take this off, I know that I need one here, one here, and one there. Now I'm just going to have to brace really hard and push really strong and just oh, get in there and and this is giving me a hard let me see on the other side it's giving me a hard time I need some muscles or maybe I need to go up with the power I don't know if 10 is the, the highest or one is let's see that's good so I got one down I have this two more on this side this is nice. and then the other hold is right here and it's gonna, oh it's running away I don't want that. So now I have this three hole. This is all good and ready. And I wanna I wanna secure it like that. So I need to go in now and get these. This on the inside. I think it'll be easier if I install this before I do the other side it will be stable and i could match my hold properly i'm hoping that whatever i do i'm able to fix it because i don't want to keep putting more hold in here than i have so now i have to go inside the shed and i'm going to attach these so this is going to be first and follow by this so now it's too dark in here, you won't be able to see, but I'm putting this on the back of each one of the screw, and then this is gonna be used to tighten it up a bit. And it is giving me a hard time because it is so cold, and I can't do this with gloves on, but I have to do this before the first snow come again, which should be tonight. I can store my thing. Uh oh, wait a minute. Gotta make sure it's straight. So I don't want to put that all the way in. I want to make sure that I have them halfway so it's secure. Do 
it's starting to make a lot of sense now. I'm sure I'm messing up here because this hole seems like it should have been bigger, but that's the right size that I pick the right size so now I want to take this I'm gonna do the same thing I want to line it up on here so that those hold because this is where I'm gonna be putting the peddler through there so I want to take oh never mind so now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna do the exact same thing I want to put it there because I want this to line up with that like so so when it closed this is how, what I want so I'm gonna make the hold the three hold again with the drill so I can go in after and create the hole. So just marking the spot where I'm gonna need the hole to be in. So now that I've had the spot marked, I'm gonna go in and I know I need one here, one here, and one there. So I'm gonna do the same thing, but this is thin, but I need it to be secure, so I'm just bracing on it. So I can go right. Here. So that's one. And the next one is here. So why am I not trusting that? I just marked it, but I'm not trusting it. Hold on. I think something shift. Let's see. So That's good. I know something shit. I don't know what happened, but something didn't seem right. So, and there. Okay. So, let's try this again. And then, I'm going to make the last hole. These were all from the old lock, and that was there when I came here. So. Process. I'm just gonna go in with the washer followed by the nut. So that's basically what I'm going back here and doing. Wait, nope. I'm gonna put the washer in first. Then I put that on. Oh goodness. My fingers are freezing, but I can't do this with gloves on, so I have to bear the cold. The thing is, I didn't think to put a lock on this shed because I wasn't going to store anything important in here. But since I got the snow blower and I paid so much for it and I thought I was going <laughs> to I was going to be able to put it on the screening porch, but if you've seen that video and if you haven't seen it the day I bring home my um snow blower, you should check it out. When I go to it up the stairs I couldn't do it so I figured if I can't pull it up the stairs when there's nothing on it I wouldn't be able to pull it up the stairs when it's heavy with with snow and salt and thing so I decided I have to fix this shed and by fixing it I mean take this all out that was already on off but it got so messed up that I couldn't do that so my next bet was to get this shed in order so that I can store my snowblower in here and sleep peacefully at night. Because I don't mind buying the things that I need, but I don't like wasting money. Like if I should leave my shed outside and it gets stolen, I'll be so mad at myself and not securing it. So yeah. And the good thing about this now is I can also, cause I just bought earlier this year a lawnmower mower and I, store it in the basement and it's such a hassle to do that so 
this is it and see no one will be able to take this out inside so now see you go in here and you securely lock so now you see I'm done with it and you see these bolt here never mind my finger I've been working like crazy hard work so these bolts are like this I don't know if that's called a bolt but you see how this is you can't put a screwdriver in there and take it off so that's good so you can only take this off from the inside so if someone's gonna break into this they would have to cut the lock but it's still not that easy because this is not a lock that cut easily so now you can put anything securely in your shed and sleep at night not worry you know like a lot of people said that oh you live in a pretty decent neighborhood you don't have to worry but that's just how i am i like to secure things when i invest in something i spend a pretty good penny on it so that's how easy it is to change your lock